Kumondoa uongozini, gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kawera Mwangaza iliingia siku ya pili hii leo. Gavana Mwangaza aliweza kujitetea kutokana na mashtaka saba yanayozidi kumkumba kutoka kwa bunge la kaunti hiyo ya Meru. Hii leo Mwangaza sasa alipata nafasi ya kujitetea kama anavyoarifu mwandishi wetu Kitonga Ndwiri. A warm welcome to today's uh, Senate live proceedings. Gavana wa kaunti ya Meru Kawera Mwangaza hii leo aliwasilisha ushahidi wake mbele ya seneti ili kujitetea kutokana na mashtaka yanayomkuba hii kungatuliwa mamlakani na, na bunge la county ya Meru that is uh, through their leaders uh, others it was a kind of a campaign where uh, some of the MCAs were promised that if the governor goes and the deputy governor takes uh, the seat there will be the doubling of one development fund from the current 15 million that is given by the governor to that million and that one brought, brought some sense of a, a, I mean a excitement among the members as well as uh, pushing them to impeach the current governor Meru mwezi ejana pe ni baada ya kungaturiwa mamlakani na bunge la county ya Meru mwezi jana Mwagaza kwa upande wake kanusha mashtaka hayo saba yaliyosirishwa dhidi yake cultures values and attitudes of those three communities what do you say to that there is difference because for example in meru we have jorincheke do the kikuyu have jorincheke they have kiama and i'm sure you know even the jorincheke is also called kiama It's just a difference of names. Anyway, Governor Kawira Mwangaza is the governor of Embu, a man or a woman? A woman. To the best of your knowledge, is this woman governor being hounded out by some misogynistic male leadership? Unless she's the ear yeah, to testify, I cannot testify. To the best of your knowledge, has the woman governor of Embu been impeached three times? Has she faced three impeachment motions in the last one year? I know of one Anu Aiguru who was impeached twice. Let's, let's, let's stick to Embu for now. Has the governor of Embu faced three impeachment motions in the last one year? No the county assembly where he sought my support in the impeachment of the governor and in return he would double our want development fund from 15 million to 30 million Adrian Aruyaru mwanachama wa Meru Julie Ncheke na mwenyekiti wa Tigani Magharibi Tigani Mashariki na Tigani ya Kati ni miongoni mwa mashahidi waliotoa ushahidi wao Aruyaru akisimulia matukio ya Oktoba 14 ambapo anasema baadhi ya bunge wa county walikula kiapo katika hekalu ya Julincheke. Uh, function that was When was that function was on 14th of September of October. Which function? That function was on 14th of October. Then what is your question? I am asking confirm that that function was on 14th of October. Yes, it was. Confirm that the, process, the, the the conversation of impeachment began way in August or September. No. When was the motion? Do you know when the motion was or was tabled in the county assembly? No. You can't tell. I can't tell. I, I can't tell. You can't tell when the motion was yes. tabled. Mm. Wrong. Hapo jana Abuge la kaunti ya Meru lilikusanya mashahidi sita ili kuuga mkono kesi hiyo kwa upande wao. We intend to call for witnesses in Dickson Munene, waziri wa kaunti ya Meru, alitoa ushahidi wake hii leo kama ushahidi wa governor Mwagaza. The government of Meru the county assembly passed a budget for us to take care of the disadvantaged mamas in our community and that program is dubbed as one cow per one poor family we go around the villages we have a committee 
baada ya kusikizwa kwa kesi kwa pande zote mbili maseneta wanatarajiwa kupiga kura ili kuuga mkono hatua ya kumngatua mamlakani gavana Mwagaza au kutupilia bali hoja hiyo Egyptian Samoja jina la guni Egitongadi yes.